Yo, what is going on guys, Asriel here, and today I'm going to show you how to build a realistic indoor park on Skate 3, but before we hop into the video, I want to do a challenge this week with you guys. So, in the comments below, leave your hardest Skate 3 challenge for me to do, it can be park building or just in general, and I will come back in one week and pick my favorite challenge, and I will make a video on it, and I will give you a shout out. But, without further ado, let's hop into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is select the Team HQ Park. Now the reason for this is it'll make the inside of your park a lot brighter and it'll sound like you're in an indoor park. Then all you want to do is just get your props meter to yellow. It doesn't matter which object you use, but this is just to prevent your game from freezing and we do not want that to happen. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and pick the flooring. Now some people start out with the roof, which can be easier, but I always like to start out with the floor and kind of get a rough idea of what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and use this Victorian building if I can find it. There it is. Okay. I like using this because it gives like a smooth concrete texture, kind of like you'd see in an indoor. It's not like more rough concrete. It's always polished concrete if you go to indoor. So I'm going to duplicate these a few times. And there we go. We got our floor. And I'm probably going to have to move this around a couple times to get the fit. This is, uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of room in this park to work with. So sometimes the walls interfere. <laughs> All right, so now that we got our park floor down, I'm gonna go ahead and frame in the park with some kind of wall, and I think I already know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna go with the big solo building, uh, just cause I like the look of it, the whole old looking brick thing. And uh, also I want the garage door, the smaller one with the graffiti on it. I think it always looks cool in the indoor. And you'll see that there's windows in the bigger garage door, but I'm gonna have that covered up and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video so you can see how I do this really fast and it doesn't take forever. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got the walls, the doors, and the floors done. Now we gotta do the roof, which is my least favorite part. Alright, so time for my least favorite part, and that's the roof. So I'm gonna grab two buildings and angle them in, and I actually build my roofs upside down. I don't remember who taught me that, but someone told me that a long time ago, and it helped me so much. Like, it's such a time saver, because you can actually see what you're doing, and if you built an indoor before, you probably know what I'm talking about. When you try to build stuff on the roof, you cannot see what you're doing. So flipping it upside down really helps. And now I put these little pipes out and that's kind of like the spiral duct for the AC. Of course, there's no AC in Skate 3, but it looks cool to me. And now I'm building the structure support. So I'll just let this play so you guys can kind of see what I do here. Um, I w I'm not going to talk through the whole thing because it took me, I think, uh, 40 minutes to build this roof, which is ridiculous. I think the park itself only took me 30. So yeah, but I'll just let this play and I'll catch you when we get to building the actual skate park. I totally forgot about this part. So basically what I'm building right here is one of the fluorescent lights, like the long tube light bulbs that are pretty much in every skate park. I don't exactly know what those are called, but anyways, I get a flat rail and two round rails and they make a pretty good looking light. So yeah.
Okay, so the ceiling slash roof, whichever you want to call it, is done. I just realized the whole video I've been calling it a roof and technically it's like a ceiling. But anyway, on to the skate park. <laughs> Alright guys, so here's the park building. Now, I didn't go too crazy with this. I just went for kind of a private indoor and some of the things you might notice is I'm changing the color of the wood. That's just because if you've ever been to a indoor park in real life, they kind of change the wood out as it gets worn down over time. So none of the colors really match in some spots. So that's kind of what I'm doing there. But I'll let you watch this and I'll get back to you when we're done. Alright guys, now the park is almost done. There is only one thing left to do and before we do it, I just want to say thanks for watching the video and if you haven't already, please consider hitting that like button and maybe even subscribing if you haven't already. And I just want to say have a good day guys and I will catch you in the next one, but let's go ahead and skate this thing. Mm -hmm. 